This is one of my favorite dresses that I ever wore on stage. It's a Marc Jacobs dress. And you can't tell from this picture, but it's got all these sequins on it. And it was almost like being a disco ball or something because it would reflect all this light around on the stage. When I first got here in um, the early 80s, people were wearing a lot of black. It was a way to be chic if you didn't have a lot of money. Madonna was bopping around wearing like uh, multiple rubber bracelets and uh, crucifixes. For some reason, um, this block started being um, like skateboard shop row. X Large was over there down the street. The pop shop used to be there for years and years and years. There weren't a lot of designers. So when we started X-Girl, we were trying to do things that were more fitted and t-shirts and things like that that had sort of cool slogans. We found Mike Mills through the Beastie Boys and he came up with a logo and basically all the graphic t-shirts. We fed him ideas and he, he was great. With a, a video for Sugar Cane, we sort of came up with this idea about uh, a girl in this fashion show who is taking her clothes off going down the runway. It turned out this English director was good friends with Marc Jacobs and he offered up his clothes and the showroom. Chloe was an intern at Sassy. We got a hold of her and asked her to be in a video and she really hadn't done anything before then. So that was really her first step in. Mel and Jeffrey and I met when um, they were working at Mail. And a friend of ours said, well, you could do it right. The Mirror Dash Girl is based on someone who has a lifestyle similar to King's. She has a place here in the city, she lives up in the country, she travels a lot, she has a child. She has all these different elements of her life that she has to think about. I loved this dress. It was so simple. It was almost like a t-shirt, but it was kind of thick. And I wore it every show on the European tour we did in 1991. There's a certain generic thing that happens with fashion that it gives you confidence, like you're fitting in, you know. And I think there's always been an element of me that wants to buck against that. But I've always felt that's why I've never really had actually such a great sense of style. <laughs> I also don't consider myself a musician either. <laughs> <laughs>